What's going on guys? Brandon Taylor here from Delphic Argonauts. You're here to talk about gear. So as we're coming up on our first release on May 28th, New Dawn's Rising is coming out. I thought I'd go through some of the gear that has been used on the EP and also some of the other gear that's also we use on the next upcoming two releases, which we'll have more information on that on a later, later date. So I was going through, trying to decide what I wanted to go through first. So I thought the easiest thing I could do was go through and talk about my main go-to axe for all the mo my main sounds. And this is the Dean Thoroughbred. And it's their stealth model, which, um, what does stealth mean? It just means that uh, the way it's set up is pretty much for metal. So you got the matte black finish. So the way the light reflects off it, just it has its own unique vibe to it. So like say if it was like a green light over there and it would shine off it, it would make the black look like kind of like a blackish green, which I've really thought looks really cool. Especially when you're out on stage and you want to just look like that badass motherfucker on stage. And, um, it's an ebony fretboard, which I've always liked the look of ebony over rosewood. Um, though I've gotten to like rosewood as I've gotten older, especially the darker color ones. So you get that nice sleek black. Even I mean, even on the back, it's the full matte satin black as well. I should also say, yeah, the finish is, is uh, satin wood, no cloths to it, so you don't get all the fingerprints and stuff. Excuse me, on there. The only issue I have with black is just that you get all the, the dust that shows up, which I gotta clean this guy. He needs a new restringing. The pickups that used to be in here were actually the EMG 81, and I forget what the what the number for the neck pickup is, but um, I mean, EMGs are cool and all, but what I was trying to do with this guitar was to pretty much have two guitars in one. Because as where I currently live, I just don't have the space to have a whole bunch of guitars. So, I kind of have to make do with what I got. And everyone talks about Fishman's and just how they're like the best things since sliced bread. So, like, you know what? I'll give it a try. And uh, I do like them. I mean, they're probably my favorite pa uh, passive, active pickups. But uh, I've just becoming more and more attuned to the passive sounds. I mean, I've really been eyeball me see more duck as I do have a Nazgul loaded in one of my other guitars which once we get to that point I'll talk about that um, but these are cool um, the main sound which is of course the classic active sound just by the way I could just give you a close-up yeah yeah they need they need to be cleaned as well but uh so you, you pretty much get three voices with, with the, with the uh, Fishmans. And I'll have a demonstration of all of, them, all of the sound, different sounds. So like, I'll start with just the main sound that you get out of these, the main active compressed sound that you expect from a active pickup, which you'll have here.
one I would say that can really rival the sound of the Active Sound. To me, uh, the clarity that you get out of the live wire, which is the Seymour Duncan line they used, uh, I don't know if they, I don't know if they're technically Dave Mustaine signatures anymore, but I always liked how those sounded, how clear they sound, especially with a clean tone. And yeah, so the the it's around that type of caliber of sound. So what's really cool though, what you can do, there are different voices, and the way you access those voices is by a push pull pod. Which this one here gets you to the passive sound. This one here gets you to the single coil sound. Now it's this right here, the single coil sound, which splits the coils in here, which gives you that passive single coil sound, like from like a you know a telly or a, a old Stratocaster. And pretty much when it comes to clean tones, I just prefer the sound of a single coil clean tone, especially when the fact that I use a lot of echo and like delay reverb on my clean sound just because I just like how it all sounds just sounds ambient and stuff like that and just with a regular humbucker it just it clashes too much with the amount of echo I use so when you're going into a single coil sound uh, single coil pickup it just sounds a lot clearer a lot fresher and a lot more pleasing to the ears and here is a demo of that Scale length is a 25 and a half inch scale, and it's a set through neck, mahogany, I think, yes, mahogany, I think with a maple top, or it's either maple top or it's a full body mahogany. I'm going to go with mahogany maple top. So you get that classic heavy tone and sustain, but that in conjunction with the neck, it's just, it's, it's heavy, but it's just so easy to get down on the through the neck very fast and with it being the set through neck it's so easy to get up in this range I mean like if you go deal with like the Les Pauls you always get that big little block 
there, just sitting there, and you're trying to get all the way up here. And if you're trying to solo, you can be a bitch just to try to get up there. So that was one of the things that turned me on to this particular model, is just the fact that you can it had that you know pretty much shaved off, which I'm used to like a glued on neck from those Les Paul days. So, and also I mean you can't forget the classic Dean logo. And it's just, what got me into Dean first was when I walked into a guitar store, which was, my mom actually took me there, which was way back in the day. I just remember seeing on the wall, the Dean Arctic uh, Dime Bag ML. And I was like, 300 bucks for a guitar, that's, that's weird. So I gave it a shot. Really liked how the neck felt, just how evil it looked. And, you know, and then I kept the logo in the back of my head as time went on. Then my buddy actually got for a senior uh, graduation present way back in the day. Excuse me. He got one of the Dave Mustaine models VMNTs, which was the, his V, and it was the silver color. And I just remember picking that thing up for the first time. And with the neck that they had, the pickups, just the way the guitar felt to me, it was quality. So it was from then on, I pretty much made the decision that I really wanted to invest my time and actually get my hands on a Dean guitar. So as it currently stands, they are my favorite guitar company when it comes to quality. And their custom shop is pretty much open. I do have the, an interest to in getting a custom Z made, which is pretty much their Explorer shaped body. But they also have, they're also re-releasing re the VMNTs now, which are also called, which are called now the Vengeance. And the main difference is it doesn't have that bevel on the edge there like the classic VMNTs do. And they're re-releasing the Zeros, which is going to be like their Zs, but it's a little bit sharper, a little bit more thinner. So I'm going to want to give those a try first. But um, I do want to get my own classic Z with the metallic silver and all that, which... If you go and go to the custom shop, I mean, you can look at all the different colors, woods, all that stuff to choose from. So, if you are looking into a guitar to start out with, or if you need that one guitar to complete your sound, the new Thoroughbred Select Stealth models that Dean has just released, it is pretty much this setup. It's just the difference is they have the... Uh, what are they called? The speed knobs. So they have the classic speed knobs. Instead of having, you know, two volume and two tone, I think it's two volume and one tone. And they'll have the push pull pod for the Fishmans. And it's going to be the, uh, I think, the solid matte black finish um, of the Fishmans. So it's pretty much going to be, be the same exact one, but um, just with the Fishmans and this and the control scheme being a little bit different and just more updated so definitely give them a look see i do plan on going through and showing you uh the other good gear that i use so the next one i think i'm going to go through is the fractal axe effects and how i pretty much create the tones that i use on all of my projects so look forward to seeing that either on a on the tuesdays or thursdays because that's when i'm planning on releasing regular videos with Sunday being the day I release po podcast episodes, which I have one coming up with me and talking to my good buddy and bandmate Mick Sawyer from Barrier Let's See. And we just talk about, you know, music, food, politics, stuff like that. So look forward to that this coming Sunday. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I appreciate your time. I appreciate all the kind words. And the and uh, the praises that all the the songs, creatures of the deep, and the coming storm have gotten from our upcoming release, New Dawn's Rising. Once again, May twenty eighth. So I appreciate you guys. If you go to the link down below to our hyper follow, where you can pre save the down not download but the the stream on Spotify. So would like to hear you guys what you guys think. If you guys have had any any experience with Dean comment down below would like to talk to you guys because this isn't just about me it's about us creating a community here trying to 
just better, you know, interactions and connections with everyone. So, looking forward to hearing from you guys. This is Brandon Taylor from Delphic Argonauts, signing out.